All right, Chad, let's absolutely talk about this right here. <laughs> So, J. Cole mentions Yeet and Ken Carson. Right now, it's a crop of, uh, who's like the young turn? Ken Carson is a name, correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Yeet. Yeet, boom, boom, boom. So, that's a crop. That's a whole event. Like, nah, they did not. They counted the boom, boom. <laughs> if we look at rap in the scope of like track and field, we can give everybody the credit they deserve. You're not going to diss a shot put nigga because he's a shot put dude. Right. You can be like, man, you work really hard to be good at shot. Good analogy. So the way I feel about this clip right here is like, J. Cole, you're not doing your job if you don't know who Ken Carson is. And to act like you don't know if that's like considered like a big deal, you should know. It shouldn't even be like you like look around in the room, like read the room, like that's considered. You should. That should be determined by you and what you think. Who's like a young and turn? Who's like the young turn? Ken Carson is a name, correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you should know that. You should know that. And of course, deep down inside, he knows that. But for J. Cole, J. Cole to step up and be like, oh, yeah, who's young and turn? Oh, yeah, that Ken Carson dude. Yeah, 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 he's fine. Oh, while wow, Ken Carson's already selling 40K, while the, while the young kids are already... Not tolerating that J. Cole agenda. They moving over to that Ken shit. You got Jake, you got Drake posting it and shit. That's dangerous. And J. Cole a good dude. I'm not here to shit on J. Cole, but I just honestly feel like that's a glimpse of what the industry is like. I mean, know your value and go up for real type shit. But that's genuinely how I feel about this clip right here. It's like you could have like he sold 40,000 first week. Like you can acknowledge him now. Uh uh that's Yee, boom, boom, boom. So that's a crop. That's a whole event. Uh, uh, yee, yeah, boom, yee, uh, 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 nigga, you just went back and forth with a number one with that dude. That should have been the first person you said. And the people that watch their event, they might be like, man, I don't even care about watching sprinters. Mm -hmm. I want to see the pole vault niggas. Oh, I Which is a fact. He's saying the other side of what you guys say, you know? You guys be like, we don't want to hear that J. Cole, but he's clearly going number one and selling out tours and shows and all types of platinum records and all types of stuff. And you clearly will never in your life be able to deny his talent. So it's like, while y'all be like, I'm not turning on that J. Cole, there are niggas like, I'm not cranking that Ken. If we look at rap in the scope of like track and field, we can give everybody the credit they deserve. He's speaking facts though. He is speaking facts. Jayco speaks on beating out I don't give a F for number one. Nah, W podcast, Yachty, for real. Look at him getting the info and being in the loop. I should have did. What a smart guy taking full, complete advantage of his situation, knowing what to ask to. It it did go number two. No, uh, it didn't go number two. It went number one. But if it would have went number two, it wouldn't have mattered. Like, I wouldn't have I thought, felt no way. See, if the other song would have went number one, it's like, bro, I'm, I'm cool. I almost mm. feel better not having my first number one be off of Drake alley -oop. And I love that I'm a part of that moment with him, with Michael Jackson, but it's like, bro, I'm grateful I'm a part of it. But if the other song would've went number one, nigga, I'm still grateful I'm a part. I wasn't at home like, come on, y'all. Pick up the strings, man. We gotta beat this motherfucker, yeet. Come on, nah. I wasn't, I wasn't doing that. What got first person shooter to number one mm -hmm. was me and Drake fans still buy iTunes. Singles. Still buy singles. Wow. So oh the God, physical sale, shots. not physical, but the digital actual sales of the song. DJ shit. I don't know who's still buying them bitches, but you know, Complete. appreciate I think he low-key taking shots. Because what Paulie's saying kind of is a coincidence. Yachty claims that Cole went number two because Yeet went number one worldwide. But J. Cole is also, man, F that. We went number one because our fans still buy records. Basically saying the young fans who can only stream and can't afford to buy records, just stream are what got that to number one for Yeet. But the streams and hardcore sales is what got it to number one for J. Cole. You know, but he said it in a very, very, very polite way. And this is me playing devil's advocate chat. He might not even realize he said it like that. He could be speaking dead facts, no matter what, according to the statistics that they know. 
and that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how I see it. That's just how I read it. And I love J. Cole. And I'm happy that he went number one. And I think I said I would like for J. Cole to go number one because Yeet still has his time. And I think I also said it doesn't matter because J. Cole can go Yeet number one on his own. So, but I don't know. I think I said that. I'm going to go back and watch the video that I said with um, Drake, Yeet, and J. Cole, that whole situation. Or if you guys would like, go do that your damn self. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's what J. Cole had to say about the going number one situation. J. Cole went number one in the U.S. Yeet went number one worldwide. Chat, you guys let me know what you guys think is bigger to you. Anyways, chat, J. Cole um, speaks on Ken Carson and Yeet after going number one with Drake. And that's what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's your boy, God. Peace. <laughs> Once he gets